Hello, you are here with me, Kiana Ashley, and you have arrived at Destination Transformation. Yes, and I'm super excited because today is Men's Mental Health Monday, and more of you are joining me for my second week of it. I'm so glad to know that you are loving the content thus far. So I went about things just a little bit differently this week. I'm just a woman. I don't know about all of the issues that have been faced. So what better way to figure that out than to go to the source? So I took to my Instagram, I reached out to all the men who follow, and I said, hey, what is going on with y'all? Let me know something. And I got tons of wonderful suggestions and responses, and I was able to choose one by Mr. Florida, thank you. And the topic is recovering and healing from relationships or divorce. Now there's two things that works against men in this instant, is the fact that number one, none of us are taught any coping skills when it comes to dealing with certain issues in life. Life can hand us all types of duress, stress, pain, whatever, but we seldom learn the vital skills that it takes to respond to these things in a proper way that doesn't break us down. That's the first thing. We don't have coping skills. Men, you don't have coping skills, but you're not alone on that one. Number two, unfortunately, we don't even offer the space, the opportunity, or even talk about men being able to experience those kind of emotions, the pain, the frustration, whatever may stem from a broken heart, a relationship that you invested your time, your love, your energy, your money into, right? We don't allow men to feel those kind of feelings. And again, that's placed on the bias that we place on gender and what we feel that certain characteristics men should have and can't show certain feelings because of that. So you have two things working against you. You don't know how to cope and you don't even want to acknowledge it because you feel like you shouldn't when you have those feelings. And pain is universal. Pain is universal. There is no gender bias when it comes to emotion. Men, you have to learn to tell yourself it is okay. Society is not going to tell you this, okay? You have to convince yourself and be comfortable enough with yourself to acknowledge these feelings. Because once you can acknowledge these kind of emotions, the pain, the confusion, the hurt, you can start to process them. It's so important to process your emotions. Without sitting and experiencing them fully, you are holding up your healing process and in turn it just sits there it boils over and then it turns into a whole nother kind of situation you turn into a, a man that's emotionally unavailable you turn into a man who hurts every other woman that you you meet after that relationship you don't want to be that guy because at one point you love somebody at one point you allowed yourself to to become vulnerable to someone, to to expose yourself to someone. And that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Ladies, we, we, we need, as a woman, we need you to be that way. Because there's that balance and the duality of those emotions. We want you to be the strong protector that we know you can be. But we also want you to be in tuned enough to acknowledge emotions that you have without suppressing them. Because that turns to a whole other beast. You turn into a whole other beast. And men, I don't feel like y'all want to be that way. I might be wrong about this, but I feel that y'all don't want to turn into that beast. You know? So acknowledge your feelings. Grant yourself the opportunity to say, it's okay, I'm hurt, but it's okay. I can feel those feelings because everybody does, man, woman, whatever. And because if you don't do that, what happens is, is you turn into this very emotionally unavailable man. You start to let make every woman after that woman who hurt you pay for her mistakes. And then you lose, you might miss out on a good thing. You miss out on a good thing. The first emotion that men turn to when they've been hurt in a relationship is anger. And that's just associated with all that masculinity, you know, those those that aggression that we associate with men in general. You turn to anger. Get to know your anger. Where does that anger come from? Are you angry because 
the relationship ended in a bad way? Are you angry at yourself because you've done something in the relationship that caused it to end? Are you angry at her? Did she not take uh, good care of you? Did she take you for granted? Did she not appreciate you? What are you angry about? I guarantee that anger comes from confusion and not from the relationship. That anger comes from the confusion that you're experiencing, the frustration that you have, because you are not allowed to feel that. Right? That's less than what they say. They tell you you shouldn't feel hurt. You know, it's like a double whammy on your manhood. Not only are you hurt, you let a woman hurt you. So now you really feel like your manhood is being attacked because you can't feel pain, let alone feel pain that's been inflicted by a woman. So that takes a toll on your self-esteem as a man. It takes a, so, uh, a toll on your self-esteem as a person for anybody. So understand what that anger is. Get to know what, what's causing your anger. But like I said, I guarantee it's because you're confused and frustrated because you don't want to deal with those feelings because they said that you can. And not only that you can't deal with that, you don't even know how to begin to do that. That's where your anger is coming from, man. Dissect your anger. Dissect the other emotions. You might feel uh, a dip in your self-esteem. Like I said, it can stem from feeling like you failed at something. So feel like you lost a part of yourself. When you invest a lot into a relationship, you can sometimes lose a part of yourself. When you when that relationship ends, you have to learn to readjust your feelings. That energy has to shift back into your one being because you shared so much of that with the other person. Give yourself time to do that. Man, grant yourself the space and opportunity to get to know your feelings, understand where they're coming from and why you feel them. Dissect it. Take it apart. Because when you feel like a certain way, when you understand those things that you are feeling, then you can attack it. Then you can approach it the right way. Then you have a right sound of mind and say, you know what? I know why I'm feeling like this. And this is how I'm going to try to handle it. And that's the second step. Knowing how to cope. Because what's the thing that we always go through when we break up? And that's for any of us. Men, you go out. You go out every damn night. <laughs> every weekend. Try to get as many, talk to as many women as you can to make you forget about your ex. Talk, you know, have one nice dance to kind of boost your self-esteem a little bit. To make you feel loved, appreciated, wanted. Whatever it is that you feel like you're missing right now. But... Don't, none of those women, none of those women are going to fill that void for you. And you know that. You know that. It's going to leave you feeling even worse than before. Trying to go and fill the void. That, with the, doing all the wrong things. And men, if you know your homeboy, your friend is going through, has went through a breakup. Check on him. Check on him. He might not be expressing it to you because, again, that's not something we talk about. And that's okay. But I encourage you to have that conversation with your homeboy. You ain't got to get into depth about all your feelings and nothing like that. But definitely touch on that. Ask him, if how you doing? Is he all right? Ask him if he's okay. Take him out. Get his mind off of it. Because it's okay to have fun. So you got to find balance in this recovery. Yes, give yourself time to dissect and experience those feelings fully. Understand why you feel the way you feel. Find the source of those, those feelings. That anger, confusion, that hurt, that pain. And then go out and give yourself some relief from that process. Go out and have some fun. Nobody said you can't do that. Go out and have some fun. But do not go overboard. Do not go overboard. If you feel that these are the warning signs, if you're going out more than normal, drinking more than normal, having more sex than normal, if you're doing anything to excess, that means you are compensating. You're compensating. You have to learn to, to identify the warning signs in yourself. And sometimes that, can, that vision of, of the insight for yourself can get a little muddy because you, you're blinded by all this pain and trying to suppress it and trying to deal with it. But when you feel yourself slipping, you know when you feel yourself slip, slipping, fellas. Catch yourself. 
Go back to that space. And like I said, men, support each other in that. You don't have to go deep into depth about your feelings, but get your mans out. Whether that's going to play some pool, watch a game, go to the bar, something, anything. that does, And it doesn't have to involve women. You have to take time out from that for a little bit. Because when you get into another relationship, and you will, you will. You want to make sure you're in a good place because you don't want to miss out on a good thing. There might be the woman, the next woman might be the one for you. You don't want to miss out on that by having suppressed those feelings so far down that you forgot they're there. And they're going to bubble up and resurface in another relationship with a woman who probably doesn't deserve that. Don't make another woman pay for past mistakes from a different relationship. Because all women ain't the same. Just like all men ain't the same. So you really have to take heed when it comes to your emotions. You do. Learn some different coping skills. Whether that's going out with the boys, having a little fun, take your time off of it. Or whether that's do some type of self-expression through an outlet. Do you like music? Do you like working out? Do you What do you like to do? Do you like to read, draw, whatever? Find something creative. Find something that you identify with that you enjoy whatever that might be just know when you're overdoing it when you are compensating because if you are going through the motions and you feel like you're getting nowhere you're still having these these thoughts about your relationship this when you can when you're still reacting reacting emotionally to the thought of your ex you might still be in a in a place of healing and that's going to take time that's going to take time don't go jump into a relationship don't go jumping into multiple beds take time for yourself fellas having a bunch of women around you does not does not measure your masculinity it doesn't and when you can know that you won't go off trying to fill a void with a bunch of women. So there's there's a few things you can do. Like I said, sit with your emotions, give yourself time, and then find your balance. Go out, have a little fun. Dissect your emotions. Go back, dissect your emotions. Reminisce on the good times. That's okay to do that. And in the process of reminiscing, do some self-introspection. What about that relationship that you not did you not like? Is it something you could have did to be better in it? Whether the relationship ended because of you or not, was there something you could have did as a man on your part that would have made you feel better about walking away? Because when you're able to fix and identify those issues you have within yourself, you can't fix her. You can't fix what's broken already in the relationship. It's done. But when you're but what you do have the capacity and the opportunity to do is figure out as a man, what can I do better next time? How can I choose wisely next time? Because those are the things that's gonna help you engage in a healthier relationship. Because you are deserving of that love. You're deserving of a healthy relationship. You're deserving of a woman who's going to love all over you, take care of you, appreciate you. But you have to carry yourself with those boundaries. Now, you have to carry yourself knowing that this is what I will and will not stand for with a woman. This is what I did last time. It didn't work out so well. So let me try something different. You have to analyze yourself, fellas. Hold yourself accountable whether the relationship went south because of you or not. And another another thing that you can try to do, depending on the nature, depending on the nature of how the relationship ended, is try to have a conversation with your ex. Not for closure purposes, just to get some clarity. Because nobody owes you closure. It's kind of hard to get closure. 
But if you're able to get some clarity and have a space where you can voice your opinions without having some type of dispute or argument, if it's in a place like that, I encourage that too. Because that's not just healing for her, that's healing for you. A lot of men will ghost the female, will ignore their ex. Because, and that's a sign in itself saying you can't cope, you're not coping well. That you completely avoid this person. That you spend so much time, money, and energy on. You're going to avoid her. And that's a sign that's saying to yourself, I don't want to deal with these feelings. Seeing her brings up all these negative emotions that I'm not supposed to experience that I don't know how to deal with. That's what that's saying. That's how you dissect your, your emotions and your behaviors and your thinking when you're going through a breakup. Why am I behaving this way? And what can I do differently? Can I talk to her and hash it out? Can we come to some conclusion, agreement? Can we figure out what went wrong? And if you can't have that conversation, then okay. That's not something you can control. It's a wonderful opportunity if you can get it, but don't bank on it. But what you can bank on is all the lessons that those emotions will teach you when you allow yourself to experience it. When you go out and dissect your mistakes, when you try to become a better man, don't become a better man, become a better man. Because there's a woman out there that deserves you to be that better man. Who needs you to be that better man? You need you to be that better man. Otherwise, you'll cycle through the same emotions. You'll cycle through the same kind of relationship, the same kind of woman. And I don't believe you want to, I don't think all, you know, I don't think men want to be that way. But because men don't really have that chance to, to do all these things, dissect, sit with themselves, have balance and go out and have fun, but still really identify what, the, what their problem is with their emotions and sit with those and experience those. When, when, when that doesn't happen, you go out and you, you hurt people. You become toxic to others. You can become toxic to yourself. Because at one point you were loving and you can still be. But grant yourself this opportunity to do that. So, let's recap. Introspection. Grant yourself the ability to experience those feelings understand and dissect those emotions where they coming from why you might be feeling that way go out and have some fun but i keep a close eye on your ability to go overboard when you when you're not coping well if you're doing a little bit too much you might want to settle down go back to your your you space invest in your support system if you got good friends around you, the friends, the real friends, who's not going to judge you? Who's not going to make you feel less of a man? Who's going to go out there and make you get into a, another relationship with a bunch of women to come, to try to help you fill the void? Those aren't friends. Because I guarantee you, those I don't care who your toughest man is, they've experienced heartbreak too. And it might look a little differently, but they've experienced it. And with that sympathy they're able to offer you, they should give you be an outlet for you, a source of support. If you can't talk to your mans about certain things, then make your mans. Them ain't your friends. So definitely utilize the resources if you have that. Grant yourself the ability to say, okay, I'm okay to feel these things. That's the first step I need you to do, fellas. The very most important step when you do anything else. We need you to be strong men, good men, better men. Thank you for joining me this week. I look forward to meeting with you again. I want you to take care of yourself. Be well.